Hello, my name is Sharon Egan. I am a Noongar woman from the Perth area, Borlu. I'm in Sculpture by the Sea this year, making a group of balga, commonly known as the grass tree. And we're doing workshops with the public to make the leaves for them because there's so many. So, yeah, so it's become a lovely community piece. This is about the seventh time I've exhibited at Sculpture by the Sea, the first time being 2007, and I've been a couple of times at Bondi. And this is just quite an honour to be working with people, with the public, and involving everyone in it. Last year I did three Balga up on the grass area in its natural environment, and then David Handley suggested having Biggs Mob on the beach. I just went with it because he's got a really good vision and he knows the place really well. He knows what looks good where. And it really works because it's stark contrast with the white, with the black, and then the ocean in the background. It's just stunning. The sculpture itself, it's more like educating people a little bit about Aboriginal culture without preaching or schooling. It's just sharing knowledge and you know, about the plant itself. It's not a grass or a tree. There's 30 different species of Xantharia, and this particular one, the Xantharia precii, only grows in Noongar country, which is, you know, between Geraldton, Esperance, Albany, that's past Meriden, that little triangle down the bottom there. And it's really useful, like sustenance, moisture, tools, glue. It's like the Swiss army knife of the bush, as um, my friend told me. And I use the sap from it, the resin. I use it in my painting, so it brings people in to be a part of it. And you know, people are just, they're just wrapped, not wrapped, pardon the pun, like wrapping the wool around the hay, it's just meadow hay, to make the individual leaves. And you get people coming down and you know, finding theirs amongst it. And especially little kids, they take a photo of it and then come back later and try and find it. Yeah, and so everyone becomes a part of it. So it's not us and the art, it's our art. <laughs> I like working with community because then people appreciate art a bit more when they see what goes into it. It's not, they think, oh, we can do that, we'll just do this. And I've heard people go past, going, oh, I can do that. And I said, yeah, but you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, and when the people get involved with this, they're grateful and thankful that they're allowed to be a part of it because they come down and go, oh my God, I love that. And when we say there's workshops, I go, yes. I just love the feeling of the sense of belonging here. This place belongs to everyone. And just being a part of it, I just I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like being like a family. Every year you run to see everyone, the site crew, the volunteers are amazing and the people behind the scenes, you get to know everybody and yeah, and then you sort of catch up again next year and you go, yeah, we're back, we've got the band together. <laughs> I'm an invited artist by the Tourism WA. We've invited Aboriginal artists this year. I think it's the first one. So yeah, so there'll be more to come, which is great, you know, like um, showcasing Aboriginal art and Aboriginal stories and sharing knowledge.